You're watching City County Sports, The Coach's Corner with Joe Prince. Brought to you by Bobby Wilson Furniture, Penn Station East Coast Subs, Legends, 54 Pizza Express, Trophy House, and Via Media. Hi neighbors, this is Barry Williams. It's time for another season of Coach's Corner with City County Sports. Today here we're here with Coach Joe Prince, head coach of the Owensboro Red Devils. Well, Coach, you've had three weeks of conditioning, and now it's time to put on the pads. What will you focus on now? Well, for the last three weeks, you said it right. We're just conditioning and trying to teach fundamentals and, and uh, trying to make sure they know what we do when we do get to get hit and go with some team. But right now, we're going to find out who can block and tackle and who will bite a little bit, you know. And uh, we got to find out. The kid may be able to run, but he might not be able to play. So we got to find out who can really play. Now we got pads on because it's such a short window. We go pads uh, today, and, you know, it's one of the days from here out. So we're behind the eight ball where teams that start later get two a days in pads. So we've done that. It's nothing different we haven't done for the last six years. So. Uh, we know what we're doing on that, and we just find out who will bite and who won't. Now, what do your what do your numbers look like this year? We got about seventy five. That's the ninth through twelve, and uh, I wish we had a few more freshmen. We'll try to pick some up when school starts Wednesday, and hopefully we can pick three or four more freshmen up. Uh, but numbers are pretty good this year. We got a large senior class, and I can't tell you the exact number. I want to say it's seventeen, but don't hold me. It might be sixteen, might be eighteen. So. Uh, but anyway, the numbers are pretty good this year. I know it's early, but what do you? Th what's this team looking like? What can we expect out of the Red Devils this year? Well, on paper, you look at it and say we could be pretty good this year. We've got all our skill guys coming back. Primarily, we lost uh, uh, Logan Blue, who walked on at UK, and then we lost uh, Christian Woods, who's going to K State, and uh, two other defensive linemen and. Uh, Theron Keller and uh, Ramil, uh, I can't think of Ramil's last name right now, Jacoby's brother. But anyway, uh, we lost Ramil and, and Theron. So we lost our D-line. We, we've been looking at We think that we're all right there. Now our O-line, we got a couple people. If they get ruled eligible by the KHSAA, which they should, uh, looks like they could help us a little bit. We think we could be good, but it's all on paper. You won't know until we get on the field and find out. Okay. Well, who are some of the key returnees for this year? Well, obviously Nick Locker is the key. He's, he'll be a three-year starter quarterback and our punter, and he's done an exceptional job the first two years, so we expect him to play at a high level. And then uh, uh, Ramin uh, Lindsay at linebacker and fullback, we expect a lot out of him. He started last year. and. Did well. We moved him inside, and he runs very well. Runs very, very well. Then uh, T.J. James is another one we expect a lot out of. He was our leading rusher last year at uh, uh, fullback, and it, we're going to play him some safety. Quavon Tinsley's really impressed me with uh, his work ethic and everything this year. So we got some guys that I think will stand out for us. Now, in two weeks, you play Hopkinsville in the scrimmage down there. What do you hope to get out of a scrimmage? Well, we look for a lot of things. First thing we look for is, first of all, we want to see how crisp we are. The first team, by then you should know if they can play, and you can tell a lot if they can't. And we're hoping that we don't get any surprises of, oh, gosh, he can't play. Um, what we want to get down there is really look at our seconds and say, what, this kid here is doing well against their first. And uh, we also want to look and make sure that our special teams are in the right places and they're covering and their speed looks like we want it and their spacing. So we'll be looking for transitional stuff to make sure we got everybody on the field. We'll be looking at our second team people to see if any of them can step up and hopefully we won't find out that somebody can't play on the first team. Well coach, is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Well I'd like to tell people if they look down the end zone we got a new uh, we're putting in bleachers down there for our student body so that opens up some more uh, student body and band that opens up some more season tickets for us on our home side and and I think that'll be a nice plus if people want to get those tickets you can call Mr. Gaddis at 686-1084 and get your season tickets uh, and then we also have uh, parking passes 
out out uh, in front that uh, is good for 15 minutes after game time starts. Uh, you can come in and have a reserved parking spot, and Coach Jason Harrison is a person for that. But you can ask Mr. Gaston, he'll tell you how to get a hold of, of them. And that's 686 1084. Well, there we go, folks. This has been Barry Williams with Coach Joe Prince on Coach's Corner. You've been watching City County Sports, The Coach's Corner with Joe Prince, brought to you by... Bobby Wilson Furniture, Penn Station East Coast Subs, Legends, 54 Pizza Express, Trophy House, and Via Media. If you would like to be a sponsor of the Coach's Corner and show your school colors, call Rod at 270-683-1094.